so hello guys it's Arman and I'm back and today I'd like to show you a very interesting thing so this is not about hardcore programming this is more of a Mac tech type video so you know like supposing um, I want to know what is happening in my Mac all the time right so where do I get to know what is happening in the Mac right so, so, so there is this place okay so um this place called console where you can um get to know where and what is happening in your mac at every second so let me just show it to you so let's say that to so so first you so first you need to open launchpad and in launchpad you'll have this option other it's and this other will be there by default so open and click on that and you'll have all these options so you can this is a really handy place where you can boot camp assistant you have you have grapher voiceover utility system information and you can see these three options okay which is terminal then there's activity monitor and console so these three are more of the interior software place uh, of what is happening in the Mac so if you want to know the logbook like this logbook right so supposing there's a monumental place we have a logbook so it first says that XXX came to this place at YYY time so console does a very similar thing so let's open it yeah so you can see that the console so all these processes are happening now and this is the message that all that all of it is doing okay so as you can see now what's the time let's check the time so as you can see it's 11 51 a.m as you can see 11 51 already so many things and you'll see that see it's can see so let's say i select this okay see so a lot of things are happening behind the scene as they say okay so, and supposing i want to know uh the detail okay so battery power so uh i'm charging the computer okay so so i go to this battery capacity place and you have this option here it says details so go to details and it says activity id what's your activity ID? thread id it's, it gives you pid and all that okay so and look at the the time the process and the message like for example a few minutes ago okay wait um yeah so all these were happening so wi-fi log time sync clock figure time monitor now mon clock I cl clicked on that that's why so all this is happening behind the scene so let's say I want to uh, so you have these options here go to system log so that's the actual log book so let's say I go to system log so you can see many things here so let's say um uh, I play something called um Fortnite okay so let's say uh, no um let's say i open console right so i'll just so go to the search option and click and search for console so you can see yesterday also i opened it so it, cl it clearly states that as you can see all these so that that's my max name so um yeah so as you can see all these are like show what i'm doing so like supposing someone comes and uses your laptop or your desktop like it doesn't go unnoticed unless they know how to you know get in and delete all this and yeah so that's quite interesting i just wanted to let you know that and so as you can see it's called console right console this is a model and july 38 151 uh i opened it a few minutes back right so this is what it's showing it's showing that so go to the mac analytics data so th these are also all the data and is analytics that i use up um see the time so that's the time it's used and um, it shows you what exactly is happening you know what exactly is happening so it's quite an interesting thing if you don't know if you know like there are so and uh, let's say I want to know the details of something I can even get to know the details you can see here um here are many lines as well battery battery the darker duration battery standby and many options like it shows you the details of your mac 
then there's this log reports it's a report of your log so if anything is wrong there'll be um okay so let's say anything is wrong it'll come with a bigger red um let me see if i have anything wrong um i don't think i got anything wrong oh see 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 this is not a valid connection id right that's why that dot is there the ones that are it doesn't show i don't know why but yeah see for example see in this place so see it's not a valid connection id uh here here yeah quite interesting thing um yeah so we, we, whenever i put in charge this thing comes battery time remaining you can see that source ac because i connected the adapter to an ac power point so that's quite interesting then um, i've crashed reports this is the place so if anything has crashed or anything so it will show here which means that i can see what has crashed or not so i can even see so you can see this is the vm address space system profile what network airport boot volume memory module memory module usb device so uh, supposing i put in usb i get to know what it is so that's very interesting thing and this something called spin report okay i don't have it let's go to the next one log reports i already show you that system log and okay so let's say um i opened um this place called console okay so log reports console uh what did i open console 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 where is it so um oh okay you see so since my thing is kind of with to the iphone i can i can kind of see what iphone updates so 2017 i updated my iphone 2018 i updated 2019 and you can and so on until you know and then there's this fortnite game log so what time uh, i used it and so this was not so here also you get you know the kind you know the kind so user that's me which means i used it down so all this is used by me but these are the system modules which means this happens totally behind the scene which means i do something and the system does the work in this case i do it manually like manually boot it or reboot it whatever but here it's the system that does the work so that's part of that and now as you can see it'll open this and and you can also see system log okay let's go to log reports system you know and supposing i will go to this now okay so i go to so okay wait give me a minute okay you go here and then you can see in this place you'll have this option called now and activities so what are you doing now all this is happening now you can see 11 6 so it's kind of now and 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 in activities also you can see activities so so you can see all this is happening as well and yeah it's pretty interesting right yeah yeah i know it's quite interesting and you can even get to know the detailed stuff here and then supposing you want to only know the 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 errors that are there okay so this is what you do you get this option all messages go to errors and faults okay so you see all these yellow marks and all okay as you can see most are console 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 that's because i tried different different things in console which did not work out and you can see these red ones these are the most deadliest things like the most well in my case it isn't that deadly but um it's the most dangerous so let's see this one untitled untitled unentitled access okay okay um, you see, if if I made a call history plugin, I don't know who is that. I can't do that. Okay, so if anyone tries to hack into your laptop, it'll clearly show up here. You know, so in this place called um, activities and all, sorry, error and fault, it clearly shows up. You can see. So cannot check access and all these are not deadly. The ones the red the red ones are the most deadliest. The yellow ones are like okay, not good, and the the clean ones are like very good. Like it's totally normal, normally working. 
so that's one and let's say i want to clear all this okay so that's the one thing that we have to do like for example i want oh okay let me turn something first so let's say you have a troubleshooter you know you know what's troubleshooting right so troubleshooter so let's say you have a troubleshooting person who wants to work with you so and you you find this mistake okay so and you find and you want to share with him up to this up to let's say on or uh, only that one so you get this option share share it and you can uh, do whatever you want here like let's say i want to mail it so let's say i mail it to to someone so let's say i, I mail it to one of my addresses okay so that's a person i know so let's say i want to send it to her okay so 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 you can see the thing is here now subject whatever you want to write and then, then let me send it this message is no so okay never mind, never mind. so you see i successfully sent the the mail so you see you could even share it to a troubleshooter who can help you fix it yeah so that's quite an interesting thing and then you can even clear the data you see i just cleared it all because it's quite big right but that's one problem that's there supposing i want to hide and hack into this thing so hack into it and but and after this i want no one to see it so i just do clear it clear it you see it's clear now all all these are fresh things that are coming so you see how many errors are happening right now yeah it's kind of interesting and you know this option reload okay, so reload it so you have this entire process thing right so let's say i clear it and reload it so like this can back clear it okay so that's interesting thing so that's to do with the console let's move it let's move to the next one which is which is um what's it called okay so you 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 can even close the window Stream the lock message will be discarded when you close the window. Okay, so I'm closing it for the moment and it's your choice what to do. Okay, so now let's say I want to open up here first. Let's quit terminal. Uh sorry, um console. Okay, now let's get to to this place called um yeah. So other as I told you, and let's and you have these two places remaining. So let's go to so terminal is actually more of hardcore programming, which is why I, I want to show it to you in this video. I'll show it to you in another separate video because it's a quite a big thing. So we'll be seeing today only these two, okay? Activity monitor and console. Okay, so let's open activity monitor. Okay, whoa, whoa, is this interesting uh, thing. Like whatever you do here in the CPU, the process's name is here percentage CPU, CPU how much time it takes to do it, the threads that are used, the idle wakes up, the percentage GPU, GPU time it takes, PAD, and the user. So, you know, so let's say my user is this, yeah, that that is my user. So, all these, so in this laptop, I'm the only guy who uses. There aren't any other users, which is why most are this Chandra, or whatever my user's name. And um, you see, most are like that. And you see this root. So that means this is the system which did it. So that's the root of the system, basically. So you see, you can even know the details. Like, double click on it, and you'll get this kernel task. So this was a kernel task. Kernel is the secure thing. So, yeah, so, you, so you see, memory. How much memory it's used, also, you get to see that. The, and you see how much memory you, you share, also, it shows that. And statistics too. Threads, posts, CPU time, you see, contact, faults, assertions. And 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 in this case, these two options are closed. I'll I'll show you an, an option where, where it will not be closed. So mostly in my users it will not be closed. So double click it. Okay, yeah, so okay, see? Open files and posts. So that's the code that runs as I think so. Yeah, it is okay. And now let's say I want to take a sample of the memory. Okay, so you take a sample. So you can see it's please wait one sample has been taken. There you go. So that's the detail of the detail of the detail. So so let me explain you. This is the detail of this, which is the detail of this, which is the detail of the of the entire thing, right? So yeah, it's kind of interesting. So let me take a sample.
yep so as you can see this is all hardcore programming well so i'm sorry it's not programming this is more of the you know like the the, the load address report version date time and yeah i'm just quite interesting all this uh, okay so that's the plus gst time os version mine is mac os 10.15.6 call graph also you have and you can see this in um, sample text or even percentage i'll show you how that okay so you have this option display um go to that thing percent of thread do you see 100 percent uh 100 percent height show hidden frame and you can refresh it let me just refresh it okay so there you see and you can even see it in number of samples 908 samples are there and then you can see number of seconds so it took that many seconds to do it then percent of parent i don't know what this is this is something quite a bit inside you know okay so that's that thing so quite interesting this so this is not so this is called activity monitor okay yeah yeah good good As activity monitor okay so you can even clear the history and okay so now that was cpu option let's shift to the memory option so here you have all these things how much memory it uses you see that's the person so it's it's so it's arranged from 854 to 2 mb which means that it's going from higher to least right see it goes down to kb even so it's a port and who use and it's the user also is there so it's mostly my names but yeah that's that the energy here you can see the energy so how much battery was used by me and you, you can see the energy impact it has the graphics card remaining charge 37 percent wait so you can see remaining charge 37 percent well i don't know how that works okay time on ac 37 minutes time until full two hour two hours or ten minutes or two minutes ten hours whatever and you see activity uh, okay here you go energy how much energy it uses so as you can see um let me show you this interesting thing let's see so i uh, i was using so we were seeing at the at this thing right Activity monitor, so you see how much energy impact it had. So it had the maximum energy impact with the 12 hour power maximum. App, nap, no, which means it's continuously running. It's not sleeping at all, it's continuously running. The graphic cards, uh, well, obviously, didn't use a graphic card, and that's me, the user, and preventing, um, preventing, what is that? What does it say? Okay, preventing sleep. Okay, so that's my idea. So now let's go to disk. So you see process bytes so so like you read and write bytes right so this is how the space that it takes see just this so that's the user um in, so i took a screenshot and i i wrote zero bytes but read 1.2 mb pid that's another thing and user that's me so most uh, me is there any root here oh yes there is root okay all, like all these are like behind the scene things right yeah so obviously it'll be by root user finally network okay okay just one thing you can see here how many seconds it takes how many seconds average okay wait, let's get to the back end. um you can see the data also data written data written data read read written and per second you can see that's the speed of the data writing and reading okay so let's get a network now yeah so that's network so i think that is the packets in packets and so okay here we are again in this place so you can see this place so let's go to act packets data so that's sort of a graph so data received 59 data sent 8 bytes okay it changes continuously because um because I'm um, this Mac is not sleeping, right? It's working at all times. Yeah. So that, that that's the space, and that's a received packets. That's a sent packets. So a received bytes, sent bytes. So I don't think there are any bytes here. Zero bytes. Oh, oh, oh okay. So system UI user and user and all that details are there. 
Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I added to the user. So user, that's me mostly, and that's the PID. So quite interesting, right? Yeah. And you can even see about things. So uh, let's say Finder. You you want to see about that thing? So Finder, as you can see, it's Finder there. Parent process, parent CPU, parent CPU. So how many times it got hung also recently? And that's the user name and statistics. That's the memory size and that's statistics, threads, ports, CPU time and all. Open files and ports. Cool, right? So all this is actually it shows what see so it's user finder it's saved or not and all sample also you can take please wait there we go so it's in person of parent sample text so you see land address path that's the path it took okay contains mac os uh report version 7 ios version 10 6 date time launch time Footprint, so that's the accessing thing. Physical footprint, physical footprint peak, okay. Um, and you can see it in many options as well as I already told you. Okay, so that's that. Okay, thank you. Uh, so that's that's the, the detail of the finder, right? Okay. So thank you very much. That's that for the video, and I'll teach you a lot about the terminal and how to run codes on that in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.